Welcome to an advanced lesson on using text in Boom Cards. Text can be tricky when used on digital devices because of scaling issues and font substitutions. Also, every browser and every device seems to do things just a little differently. I've created a, a sample card with a few text boxes to try and illustrate what we're looking at. And I'm in Chrome, you can see up here, and I want to show you what this looks like when I switch over to Safari. Uh, this will just give you the context for what we're trying to prevent. So it's the same editor, the same deck, but this browser, Safari, treats it a little differently and you can see it can be catastrophic where the word here has word wrapped down onto the next line. This is some centered text and this is some right justified text. And then I pop the image in front just so you could see what would happen there. And so if we go back to say Firefox as our editor, we don't see any of the word wrapping issues at all. Uh, if we look at Chrome, it looks great. If we look at Safari, it has a problem. Now, I'm going to tell you how to fix this in just a second, but I'll tell you what we do to try and prevent it. Um, and it's really hard um, for me to come up with a good example where it's broken. Uh, here I'm running an iPhone, and uh, the stuff we do internally to try and prevent browsers from doing the wrong thing um, uh, m make it so that most most authors won't run into this trouble but there's some ways you can guarantee you never hit it so first of all I want to select and show you what's going on behind the scenes so this is a text element and if I drag any text element out like this if we look it says it's an auto sized text element and it happens to be on the template card that's why it says template so if I start changing this notice how the text changes sizes so this is the really allowing the browser that it's drawing in to auto adjust the size of this text box to be exactly right so this one would never have a word wrapping issue because no matter what browser it rendered on uh, this can auto size but i'm not real fond of auto sizing text because then i still don't feel like i have a lot of control over what's happening so while you can get away with this and here's an example this one will never have the word wrapping problem no matter which font or font size you use because it's auto sized that's not my preferred uh, way to handle it the, the text boxes that can give us trouble and let's go uh, back over to Chrome where we didn't have the problem uh, is when we make them a fixed size so here you can see it's fixed and a, a text box becomes fixed as soon as you move it and give it a size like this. Not move it, but as soon as you size it. So now it says it's a fixed sized text element. And now we're open to interpretation based on the browser about if this text gets stretched out in, you know, in a scaling by just a couple of pixels, if I size it to be just perfectly right on one browser, it might not be perfectly right on another browser and so that's what's happened here and so the way I can fix this and prevent this from ever being a problem is over in the size here I could just make this a little bit wider and what I really want to do is make it a lot wider right now I'm just guaranteed it's not gonna be a problem now it's not looking great it's not gonna look great until I center this back here but now if I go look at my my problem browser Safari everything's great look I've got lots of extra space no word wrapping problems are going to happen uh, let's go look back at this uh, now it says it's right centered but it's actually uh, that it's centered text but it's actually right aligned and if we look at uh, this broken one in Safari we can see it didn't quite fit it was like one pixel too big so it word wrapped and so that was because it was a fixed size and it was just the perfectly wrong one pixel probably too small so if you go and change its width oh look now it's great by making one pixel wider and you know what let's not take any chances 
let's go ahead and make it quite a few pixels wider. And because it's right justified, right, we could make this thing really big. And if we wanted it to line up against, say, this four just perfectly like this, no problem. We don't have to worry about any word wrap issues. There's lots of room for this text to grow uh, this way. And I'll just maybe conclude that when when artists are building up text for all different kinds of environments, um, they really need to consider about, for online, for digital text, that the devices uh, might swap in or substitute different fonts if the font didn't load properly um, for scaling issues. And then there's one other big issue, and that's just localization. Um, we don't really have that issue here. We don't do a lot of localizing yet for, for boom cards. But you can imagine that a German string or a French string, Spanish or English, they'll have a different number of characters, and so they'll be a little bit bigger, longer. So whenever we're designing string elements, we try to leave lots of extra room so that if uh, we're going to replace the string later or add something, um, it still works. The place where you would have seen this a lot would be in the difference of your, say, template cards. So uh, you'll notice this if on your template card you make a label and you might say this is an absolute value here and then you size this really small and then you want to go to a different card and you want to change that label to absolute deviation and you're like oh that didn't work out really great because it word wrapped so then you go back to your template card and you make it wider and then your string fits. So uh, a lot of authors have had to solve this in different ways. A few have run into, like I say, there's a few fonts that are particularly notorious for uh, causing just a few pixel um, problems uh, if, if the text box is just a, a snug fit. So that's it. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, as usual, um, feel free to reach out if you need any help. Thanks.